Today's caper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by a hotel for family fun all over the world. Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by Toyota. Today's episode, The Cave Art Caper. <laughs> Gumshoes. Carmen San Diego and her pack of pusillanimous punks have pounced again. This time, they called De Fracas in France. Back on September 12, 1940, four boys near Montignac, France, spent an afternoon exploring underground caverns. And look what they found on the rock walls inside. 600 paintings, 1,500 engravings, and innumerable dots and figures. And uh, scientists later determined that the images of deer, bison, lions, horses, and a human had been created 17,000 years ago. These beautiful, graceful figures are the clearest, most direct evidence we have of what life was like for humans of the Stone Age. The caverns are now known as the Lascaux Caves, and the young men made one of the great discoveries of the century. But today, Patty Larceny pulled one of the gravest crimes of the century. She crawled into the cave and pinched all the paintings. Apparently, she plans to sign her name to them and turn them in as her art <laughs> project in school. Gumshoes, your mission is to put Patty in the pen, put the paintings back in the cave, and then put an end to Carmen San Diego's crime spree. The crooks on the run, let justice be done. And one of these people could find her. Eric Costello. Requila McCallum. Luis Maldonado. Special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nice to see you. Thank you. Hi, Gumshoes. How are you? Good, good, good. Listen, uh, you've heard about the case, so let's not waste any more time. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, well, then we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Greg. Patty Larceny has stolen the Lascaux cave paintings and there's no time to lose. Here's a profile on Patty. She's the most dangerous criminal who ever polished an apple. Oh, excuse me. You've got to grab a bite to eat when you can on this job, hmm? I just can't resist a plate of fried shrimp. But let's get down to business. Patty Larceny was last seen in a city on the northwestern shore of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, this area is home to many Vietnamese families who moved there during the 1970s and 80s from their war-torn homeland. Because of the warm weather and coastal locations, a lot of these immigrants went back into the business they had left behind in Asia. Shrimping. Hmm? Now, Patty might hide the paintings behind the 10-mile-long seawall built to protect the city from hurricanes. Now, you catch her before those priceless pictures are washed away. Thanks, Chief. Will do. Uh, enjoy your lunch. Okay, guys, name the city. Is it Mobile, New Orleans, or Galveston? Remember the clues that we heard? Northwestern shore of the Gulf of Mexico, home to many Vietnamese families, and shrimping. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. On the trail of petty larceny and the cave paintings. Lewis is ready, so is Eric, and so is Requila. Uh, Eric, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Galveston. Galveston. What do you think, Requila? I chose New Orleans. New Orleans. What do you think, Lewis? I choose Galveston. Galveston. The answer we're looking for is Galveston. Nice job, Eric and Lewis. Okay. That means Eric, you come up to 60. Requila has 50. Lewis, 60. Crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Now we're going to find out a little bit about you guys. Eric, you have a very interesting family life. Tell me about that. Um, I have a twin brother. Yes. And uh, I like having a twin brother because he plays with me. And um, 
It's fun. It's, wait, do we have do we have a twin brother in the audience? Yeah, take a look. Yeah. Take, there he is, right there. And then come, come back to him, and then we'd see they are twins, ladies and gentlemen. They're twins. Do you do you play those uh, those tricks that the twins play? Um. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Some. Like you swap places in uh, homeroom and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good to have both of you here on this show. Uh, Raquila, how are you? Fine. You told me you like to read. Yes. What do you like to read? Mystery. And who's your favorite author? Donald J. Sobel. Uh huh. You thinking about maybe being a writer when you're older? Maybe. Okay. Very good. Nice to have you on the case. And Lewis, how are you? Fine. Uh, you have a, uh, a a collection, very special collection. Yeah. Tell me about a it. football collection. Yeah. Yeah. Football cards, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And you also play some sports? Um, baseball. Very good. Nice to have all of you on the case. Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome them all to the case. Okay, listen, you guys are off to a great start. Raquila, you didn't get that first one right, but you're right in this anyway. A lot of game left to play. So listen very carefully. Our next clue, uh, I think we've got a stool pigeon who's ready to sing. Listen to this. Me, Rat on Pat, it'll never happen, see? I'll never tell you she's holed up on an island in the South Pacific, almost midway between Tahiti and Chile. No siree, see? Or that the island is shaped like a triangle with a volcano in each corner. Yeah. And I won't say a word about how people used to think it was part of a bigger landmass that sunk into the ocean. Yeah. And it might have been the center of a great ancient civilization. Why, you screws will get nothing out of me, see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He just can't seem to keep his beak shut. Okay, guys, name the island. Is it Fiji? Pitcairn Island or Easter Island? Remember the clues that we heard? Island in the South Pacific, midway between Tahiti and Chile, and shaped like a triangle. Remember the clues? Put them together. Come up with the information as quickly as you can. Trying to find Patty and those cave paintings. Everybody's ready? Eric, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Easter Island. Easter Island. What do you think, Raquilla? I chose Fiji. Fiji. Lewis? I chose Easter Island. The answer we're looking for is Easter Island. Nice job, Lewis and Eric. Yeah, okay, so Eric, you come up to 70, we're clearly still at 50, Lewis, 70 crime bucks. Nice job, guys, that's the way to do it. Now, for our next clue, we... Wait a minute, I think somebody's trying to get our attention here. Just excuse me for a moment, I'll uh, check this out. <sighs> Let's check in to the Roach Hotel. Hey, Kafka. Greg, hi. There's nothing nicer than a nice, damp cave crawling with glowworms, don't you think? I just got back from one in New Zealand. It's called the White Pomo Cave. Mm. The worms cling to the walls and ceilings, and they give off a nice, homey glow. Patty tried to hide her stolen paintings in there, but she ran away screaming when I chewed on her ankle. It was awful. Oh. All right, thanks a lot, Kafka. All right, gumshoes. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm better now. Okay, uh, name the uh, New Zealand island, if you will, please. Is it North Island, South Island, or Stewart Island? <laughs> Remember the clues that we heard? Northernmost of the two main islands and Waitomo Caves. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. <sighs> okay, Lewis is ready, so is Raquila, and so is Eric. What do you say, Eric? I chose North Island. North Island. What do you think, Raquila? I chose North Island. North Island. Lewis? I chose Stewart Island. Stewart Island. The answer we're looking for is North Island. Nice job, Eric and Raquila. Okay, so that means, Eric, you have 80. Raquila, up to 60 uh, crime bucks now, and Lewis has 70. Very nice job, guys. <laughs> Okay, that can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions have to do with Patty's most recent known whereabouts, which is North Island. For every correct answer, we'll give you five crime books. Hands on your buzzers, please, and listen carefully. Here we go. The first settlers came to New Zealand about 1,000 years ago. Were these people the Vikings, the Maori, or the 12 tribes of Israel? Uh, Lewis. The Maori. The Maori's right. Nice job. Five for you. Now, watch this. This here, see these? These are kiwi fruit. Next question is about this. Listen closely. The kiwi grows in New Zealand. The country is also home to another kind of kiwi. Is that kiwi a bird, a bear, or a bat? Eric. A bird? A bird is right. Nice job. <laughs> Takes up to 85. Question three. Many places in New Zealand are named for the English explorer who chartered its coast on his way to Australia and New Guinea. Was his name Captain Cook, Captain Bly, or Captain Kangaroo? Lewis. Captain Bly. Sorry, it's not Captain Bly. Eric or Raquila? Raquila. Captain Cook. Captain Cook is right. Nice job. Five for you. 
Okay, everybody did nicely on that. Ed, so that means at the end of the lightning round, Eric has 85, Raquila has 65, and Louis 75. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, Greg, oh. come into my office and hurry. Okay, Chief. I'll, uh, I'll be right there. You guys want to stay here? Uh, looks like the Chief might need me. Chief! Hey, Chief! Well, that's odd. Whoa, look at the size of that bug on the Chief's desk! I'll squash it with this book. No, Greg, no, 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 it's me, the Chief. Chief? That's you? That's an amazing disguise. How'd you get so tiny? The gang at Acme Shrinking Things Net accidentally shrunk me, so uh, the effects haven't worn off yet. That's too bad, Chief. I guess you could say they made a tiny mistake. Greg. It was just a little joke, Chief. Come on. Look on the bright side. You'll never be late because you know all the shortcuts. Greg. <laughs> Come on. You can always get work as a short order cook. <laughs> oh. That will be quite enough, Greg. Now, listen. You go back and tell the gumshoes that the one who captures Carmen San Diego will get an all-expenses-paid trip to anywhere in North America. <laughs> well, that's good, Chief. A little wee bit of incentive. <laughs> You're making me mad, Greg. Uh, now, Chief, don't get short-tempered. I mean, you can always get into the movies for half price, and you'll be the last one to know that it's raining. <laughs> Greg? Uh, uh, oh, hi, hi, Chief. <clears throat> Go away. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter. I was out of small jokes anyway. Okay, guys, remember, uh, we're still looking for Patty and the cave paintings. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Patty and, and uh, Carmen San Diego. Watch. The gumshoes are after you, Patty. Take the cave paintings to the northernmost part of the Indian Ocean. Is it a gulf? No, it's a sea. But I thought a sea was an inland body of salt water. Not this one. It's part of the ocean that extends into the continent. But that's a gulf. It looks like a gulf, but it's called a sea. Sea? Sea? Uh, I mean, yes. Good. Cruise up the coast of Oman. Maybe Acme will think you're just another oil tanker. Carmen, who do you think I am, Top Grunge? Okay, Gumshoes, name the body of water. Is it Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea, or Persian Gulf? Remember the clues that we heard? A sea on the northernmost part of the Indian Ocean and coast of Oman. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to find Patty in those paintings. Eric's ready, so is Louis, and so is Raquila. Eric, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Arabian Sea. Arabian Sea. Raquila, what do you think? I chose Arabian Sea. Arabian Sea. Louis? I chose Bay of Bengal. Bay of Bengal. The answer we're looking for is Arabian Sea. Nice job. Okay, so that means, Eric, you're up to 95, Raquila 75, and Louis 75. Very close game, guys. That's what to do it. Now, we have just re received word that Patty has left the Arabian Sea, so let's pick up the chase. <laughs> My favorite part of the show. Okay, each one of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please. Watch the monitor and listen carefully. Here we go. Patty packed up her paintings and took off for the capital of Saudi Arabia. Name it. Uh, Eric. Riyadh. Riyadh is right. Patty swam all the way to our Iran. Which gulf did she cross to get there? Raquila. Persian. Persian's right. She hopped a caravan to Muscat. What country is she in? Louis. Equator. Sorry, it's Oman. She crossed Oman's southern border. What country is she in now? Raquila. Yemen. Yemen is right. Patty was last seen going over the Aswan High Dam. Name the country. Raquila. Egypt. Egypt is right. Nice job. Five for you. That means at the end of the chase round, Eric has 100, Raquila has 90, and Louis 75. Nice job, guys. <laughs> All right. Now we come to the one of the most important parts of this front game, which means it's time for the final clue of this round. And that means you have to make a decision. Now you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we add that amount to your score. But if you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. As always, you can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here is a portion of the world where we think Patty is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. But if you don't know very much about it, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> Okay, Eric, still need you to you have your decision. Okay, once you get your decision, right, lay it down right there in front of you. Almost there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, lay it right down there. Everybody's ready. Now, 
For our last clue, we turn to Cree Summer and Charnel Brown, agents for Acme Different World Net. Now, hold on there, gumshoes. Wait a minute. Patty took her paintings to the capital of Ukraine, where she tried to pair away with Russian rubles. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart, baby. <laughs> now, doesn't she know Ukraine's new currency is Rivna? Now, this newly independent country flies its own flag, too, mm -hmm. which traditionally is blue and yellow. The colors symbolize the bright skies over the fields of wheat for which Ukraine is famous. Patty Larceny, you just flunked current events. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for playing, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, ladies. Okay, thanks, ladies. Gumshoes, name the uh, city, if you will, please. Is it Kiev, <laughs> Moscow, or Tbilisi? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital of Ukraine, a newly independent country flies its own flag. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Once you have it, lay it down right there in front of you. Looks like everybody's ready. Lewis, we're going to start with you. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime 30 crime bucks. bucks. If you're right, this will put you back in the game. What'd you say? I could pick Kiev. Kiev is exactly right. Nice job. 30 for you. Takes you up to 105. Raquila, you have 90 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say? Kiev. Kiev is right. Good job. Puts it at 120. Eric, you have 100 crime bucks. What, uh, how much did you risk? I risked 20. 20 crime bucks. That means if you're right, you're going to be tied with the lead with Raquila, and you and Raquila will go on to the next round. What'd you say? I said Kiev. Kiev is right. Nice job. That means Eric and Raquila, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. Stay right there. Stay right there, Raquila. We're almost ready. Lewis, listen, you were a great detective, man. Uh, you did some wonderful things for us today. We've uh, put together a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and for quick reference when you're pounding the pavement, this handy world globe. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, now what you have to do is track down Patty and the paintings in Kiev. You have to find them and bring them back. But I want you to know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> the boys down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides on Kiev. Have a look. Largest city in Ukraine, known as the mother of cities. It was founded in the 9th century. The founding of Kiev Monument. The legend goes like this. A family came to live near the Dnieper River. They named a small hill after one sibling, a road after another, but the oldest son, Ki, they named the whole town after him, Kiev. Now, this will come as no surprise to anyone who has a big brother. St. Andrew's Church. Kiev became the first Christian city in Russia when Prince Vladimir converted. It said he chose the Greek Orthodox faith because he liked the architecture and splendor of their churches. The Monastery of the Kays. It boasts extensive underground labyrinths lined with mummified monks. What better place for Patty to hide the famous Lascaux cave paintings? <laughs> Talk to our agent on the inside. He's been there for quite a while, so he knows what's up. And don't let the disguise fool you. He's a heck of a dancer. And now you better do some fancy stepping too, gumshoes. Patty and the Lascaux cave paintings are in Kiev. Cave paintings are in Kiev. Go get them. All right, gumshoes, here we are in Kiev. Set your stuff down right here. Take a walk right over there. Let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where you will be able to find Patty, the paintings, and a warrant for Patty's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get a warrant. With a warrant, you can then arrest the crook, Patty. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. One more thing, as always, if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Uh, we flipped a coin since the two of you had tie scores at the end of this round, and it looks like Eric, you won, so you go first. I'll take the Ukrainian theater. Ukrainian theater. Okay, nothing there. Raquila. The Dnieper River. Uh, the uh, Dnieper Nipe, uh, River. Nothing there. Dnieper River. Eric, go ahead. The Parklands. Uh, the Parklands. Let's go, let's go. Mm, nice job. You got the loot, you get a free turn. Go ahead. The Arsenal Plant. The Arsenal Plant. 
Whoa! You got the loot, you got the warrant, you only need one more. Let's see if you can do it. Go Mar ahead. Marinsky Place? Palace? Marinsky Palace. Yeah. Is Patty there? No. But you did a nice job. You got the loot, you got the warrant. Now we're on our way. Raquila, go ahead. The Parkland. The Parklands. Subterranean scratchings. <laughs> go ahead, Raquila. The Arsenal Plant. The Arsenal Plant. The warrant. Go ahead, Raquila. Metro Station. Metro Station. Is she there? No, she's not. Eric, go ahead. The Parklands. The Parklands. Go and get your brushes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Eric, go the ahead. Arsenal plant. The Arsenal plant. The Arsenal plant. The Need just one more, Eric. What's it going to be? Um, St. Andrew's Church. St. Andrew's Church. Is she there? Oh, yes! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Come here, Eric. Come here. Oh, my goodness. Nice job. You nailed it in the head, buddy. All right, you got Patty. Come right over this way. All you have to do now is pull on this chain, put her in jail. Do it. Good job. Come here a second. So you got Patty. You put her in jail. You also got the, pay, uh, the uh, cave paintings back. Now we just have to uh, find Carmen San Diego, but we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. First off, Raquila, listen, you are a great detective. You track Patty all the way here to Kiev. We have something very special for you. Chief. A gumshoe needs to be in touch with the whole world, and that's why I'm giving you this World Band Radio, so you can tune into broadcasts from all around the globe. Congratulations. What, what's the matter? Are you amazed? What, what happened? You're amazed? Oh, well, very good. Well, you shouldn't be too amazed, because now you're going on to the final round, which means if you catch Carmen San Diego, you get a trip. And before we do that, though, we have to find out where you'd like to go if you get that trip, and that's what this thing is all about. So open this up, piece of paper, pen, write down where you'd like to go. Well, you were amazed by getting this far, but we'll see how amazed you are if you happen to actually catch Carmen San Diego and get this trip. And by the way, this is a, a fabulous choice. Have you thought about that for a while? Yeah. Okay, so listen, now what you have to do, since she got uh, this far, we have to find out where, Patty, uh, where Carmen is, and I have a feeling this phone call, call will tell us about that. Can you hold that for me? I obviously have too much in my hands. Hello? Yes, he's right here. Hold on. Hello? This gel is so neat. All the colors match. Gray, gray, and gray. I want Carmen to enjoy it, too. Look for her in Africa. What's she say, Eric? Uh, Carmen's in Africa. Okay, then, pal. You and I are going to Africa, Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Morocco. Guinea-Bissau. Benin. Tunisia. Nigeria. Cameroon. Congo. Zaire. Botswana. Sudan, Uganda, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia. I feel good. Greg, let's run to the map. Come on, come on. All right. Step right over this way, sir. Step right here. Right here. We're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And Eric, this is what it's all about. Are you still amazed? Yeah. Good. Listen, man, you made this whole thing look easy. This is the last part you have to go through. What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each with a marker. When you're right, you will hear the sound. But if by chance you're wrong, you'll hear the sound. Now, if you're wrong two times, this is very important. Leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we'll continue. But if you are right eight times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip. How will that make you feel? Great. I think so. And amazed and all that other stuff. How will it make you guys feel? Come on, Eric, let's do this thing. We're going to get 45 seconds up on the clock. You have all your buddies here cheering for you. Good luck to you, Eric. On your mark, get set, go. Come on with the Zaire. Zaire. Oh, yeah. Tunisia. Tunisia. Do it. Do it. Oh, yeah. Nigeria. Nigeria. You got it. Guinea Bissau. Guinea Bissau. This will be four. Yeah. Uganda, Uganda, do it, do it, come on, yes sir, Benin, 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 come on, this will be six, pour it on, buddy, oh yeah, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, do it, buddy, this will be seven, oh yeah, Congo, 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 and this is it, Congo, and this is it, come here, buddy, Come here. Where you go? 
We're so amazed. Come here, Eric. We're so amazed we're running all over this place. Okay, listen, you you got Africa, you nailed this whole game. Now we're gonna find out where you're gonna go. Since you got the trip, you and a pair are going to California. Congratulations. By the way, how are you feeling right now? Super. Super, amazed, all that stuff. Listen, now since you're not a gumshoe anymore, you are a sleuth, which means you get to wear this cool sleuth jacket. Take a look at that. See that there? Not bad, eh? Uh, yeah. Okay, listen, man, you've been doing a lot of great things for us today. We're all amazed, we're all supered up, and all that stuff. But there's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. Do it, well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky fingered filcher from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Steal their soul in South Korea. Make it let it cut right off the from the Red Sea to Greenland. They'll be singing the blues. Well, they never Arkansas her steal. The main come from the the world is Carmen San Diego. She do that smarter to Thailand, Vietnam, the other to Mali, to Bali, Ohio, and back. Well, she'll ransack Pakistan and run a scan in Scandinavia. Then she'll stick them up down under and go pick a pocket for She was the missing misdemeanor when she stole the beans from Lima. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where could she be? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This is Lynn Thigpen speaking for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? And remember, if you're a villain, we'll burst your bubble. When crooks meet Acme, their troubles double. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you.